I'll wait to see. I can remember saying to Elizabeth back in the UK when she had secured a teaching post in Australia, I said jokingly, you will probably meet someone there before you go. Uh, and of course that special someone was Will. After a day pretending to snowboard with my mates, we entered the folly as soon as it opened and it wasn't long before the music kicked off. People were dancing on tables and hearing a now familiar cackle. I looked around to see this elegant, graceful young lady with short blonde hair and yellow and pink ski gear brighter than the sun, falling over as she tried to get up on the table. And I knew I'd found a kindred spirit. It wasn't until later in the week that we bumped into each other in a club and got talking and found we had so much in common. Eventually I got her alone, knowing she was older, Liz was playing hard to get. It wasn't until I uttered the irresistible line, I have a hot tub, that she finally caved and our relationship was born. Our first proper date was over the Christmas break. My parents are out, and I invited Liz over for an extremely average home-cooked meal. And uh, she didn't leave for two days, which is always a good sign on a first date. It's easily the best one I've ever had. It is now my greatest pleasure to now declare you are officially husband and wife. Will you may kiss your beautiful bride. Well, we're finally here. It's been uh, two years pretty much and one global pandemic in the making. Uh, but finally we're married! I did a bit of research over the last year into what makes a good best man speech and it always says that there should be a theme that underlines your relationship to the me for the groom and also to the happy couple. I thought about it long and hard and I was like, what actually really unites us as, as friends? And I thought really long and hard about it and I decided it was drinking. A long time ago, the best piece of wisdom that my father bestowed on me is that when the why is big enough, the how doesn't matter. Clearly for these guys, they've gone through so much adversity in being, initially being in a relationship where one of them's in the military, that's not hard on, uh, sorry, that is hard, <laughs> on any relationship, and then to be so long distance, and then to survive a global pandemic and a bit of a shit dog. <laughs> Seven years have been an incredible start to the journey. I'm so very excited for where the road is leading. I couldn't be happier to be married to you, Elizabeth. You're my drinking partner, my lockdown buddy, my best friend, and now my incredibly beautiful bride. I love you, thank you for marrying me, and here is to an amazing future full of adventures. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in raising a glass to my amazing wife, Elizabeth Rose. <laughs> 